Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 66 through 70. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 66. A network administrator wants to restrict access to a Linux server from a specific IP address, 10.0.0.15. Which of the following commands can be used to implement this restriction? The answer is B. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. The IP tables command, as used for configuring the Linux firewall, allowing administrators to manage network traffic by defining rules and policies. The dash at input option specifies that the rule being added applies to incoming packets. It appends the rule to the end of the specified chain, in this case, the input chain. The dash s option specifies the source IP address to which the rule applies. In this example, it's set to 10.0.0.15. Finally, the dash j drop option specifies the action to take if the conditions of the rule are met. In this case, it instructs the firewall to discard any incoming packets from the specified source IP address. Question 67. In a Linux environment, a system administrator receives a notification about a storage capacity problem on a server. Which of the following commands would provide the percentage of available disk space that is currently being used by each mounted file system? The answer is A. DF. The DF command, which stands for disk free, is used to display information about available disk space on file systems. When executed without any arguments, it provides a summary of disk space usage for all mounted file systems on the system. By analyzing the output of the DF command, administrators can identify file systems that are running out of space and take appropriate actions such as deleting unnecessary files or resizing partitions to alleviate storage capacity issues. Question 68. A Linux administrator is notified about a storage capacity problem on a server, but without any indication of the specific directory causing the issue. Which of the following commands would output a list of files and directories along with their estimated disk space usage? The answer is C. DU. The DU command, short for disk usage, is used to estimate the disk space usage of files and directories on a file system. When executed without any arguments, it recursively scans the current directory and its subdirectories, calculating the disk space usage of each file and directory. Administrators use the DU command to identify large files or directories consuming disk space, which helps in managing storage resources efficiently. Question 69. In a Linux terminal session, a system administrator accidentally pressed Ctrl-Z while a long-running process was executing. Which of the following commands can the administrator use to return to the running process? The answer is A. FG. When a system administrator presses Ctrl Z in a Linux terminal session, it sends a suspend signal to the currently running process, effectively pausing it and bringing control back to the shell prompt. To resume the pause process and return to it, the administrator can use the FG command, which stands for foreground. This command brings the most recently suspended process back to the foreground, allowing the administrator to continue interacting with it. Question 70. A system's administrator received a notification that a system is performing slowly. Upon investigation, it is determined that the issue is related to high input-output wait times. Which of the following commands will help the system administrator in determining the cause of the input-output bottleneck? The answer is D. VMstat. The command VMstat is particularly useful for diagnosing performance issues related to input output operations on a Linux system. When executed, VMstat provides detailed information about various system resources, including CPU memory and input output statistics. Specifically, it offers insights into input output wait times, which indicate the amount of time the CPU is waiting for input output operations to complete. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. 
Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.